Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for some more Mega Man X. And Mega Man looks pretty pissed off, just like he always is. But Mega Man's not pissed off about his life being a little bit higher. Problem is, we had a problem. I had a problem. Save staying after the last video. So basically, I had to do the whole two stages again and then get to here. Apparently, that's the end result. So let's meet the next boss of this fucking game. And oh god, it's a fucking background. Yes, this is Ranga Banga and that fucking eye is not a, not a good amount of HP or life off my damn bar. Uh, first thing, three rules you gotta need to know about this guy. A, do not fall in the fucking spikes. You'll die just like you always die. Um, B, do not kill both eyes, or do not kill the nose unless both eyes are dead. That's the that makes it the easiest route for you. And, uh, see, just note the eye colors, because they can help you decipher which attack they're gonna throw at you. Usually, blue will appear in your face. Green will shoot something at you, just one, though. But, um... And, uh, red will kinda do random shit, like... Either it'll shoot three projectiles at you, or it'll charge at you and shoot two. For first, uh, I prefer it actually charging at me. And I definitely prefer the green eye, because it's honestly the dumbest eye of the three. It's rarely gonna hit you with a projectile, A. And B, um, it doesn't move sometimes, so that's nice. But granted, uh, you don't want to be it right up front of it, otherwise you're going to probably get hit with that projectile, which can be kind of annoying, but it's better than getting hit with the eye directly. Alright, now we got the fucking dangerous red eye, and it's going to usually pick that eye all the time when there's only one left. And then the nose will just be a nose, and just bounce around. That's pretty much all you need to worry about with that. Alright. Oh, sweet. Okay, now the nose is left, and this is what happens when you got one part. Uh, the nose just bounces around, or you have to deal with the eyes, because you can't attack half of the time because they're inside the fucking wall. Oh god. And, uh, that can be pretty damn annoying, to be honest. But, once you deal with that, this isn't... Once you get used to this, this battle's pretty easy standard fare, to be honest. It's an interesting battle, but you... Honestly, it's not gonna be, like, one that's gonna kill you over and over again. Not like the final boss. But, yeah, there's stage two in a, um... Two videos. Kinda wish I didn't take so much damn time doing it, but... Whatever. Alright, so, let's head on to stage three and say goodbye to all the awesome music that we heard along the way, and say to something very sinister and dark. Basically, this is, and the stage also takes a turn. Gone is with the platforming and say hello to fucking five old mavericks that you know and love or hate, just like this guy, Mr. Armored Armadillo, and his, uh, crappy disco moves. Or is that Mr. Fail Mr. What I'm gonna do, since he's such an annoying bastard, I'm gonna use that on him. So that way I can demonstrate what these dam how much these damage. Oh, well, you shrug that off? You can't shrug that off? Sweet. And of course, uh, a lot of his weapons, a lot of these weapons can be pretty useful against him. Rolling shield actually is pretty damn useful in stopping those projectiles he shoots. However, what is not useful is flame wall and Storm Tornado. Now, those are easily the dumbest to use on him. So don't even bother. So what you can use is this over and over and over again. Because this guy deserves all that credit. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish him off this way. <clears throat> okay, see you later, Armor Armadillo. Not happy to see you again. Definitely not happy. Okay, so it's, now that we killed that sorry ass, let's get a move on and fight these damn miners and their little bats. Fuck you guys. And uh, the thing about this stage that I don't particularly uh, 
remember much about is the fact that the layout's pretty standard for pretty much a boss rush, to be honest. I mean, you don't really have too much in between. Sure, there's some parts that relate to what you're doing, but to be honest, this doesn't, those miners really don't relate to Steam Chameleon all that well. Well, maybe I do, they, I guess they do. But yeah, so as you can see, Steam Chameleon can't shrug off his own weapon. He also can't shrug off Rolling Shield, granted it hits him. Oh, what the fuck? That was weird. So yeah, pretty much this guy's... Fuck you and your little... Stop being a little dick! Okay. So you can't shrug off that, of course. Come on, come on, buddy. Get your ass down here so I can miss you like a dumbass. There you go. And this is that's his weakness. I'm just gonna demonstrate that last. Alright, so... This is the thing about Sting Chameleon that's fun. Basically, Mega Man can put him in an infinite loop of failure. Uh, granted, you hit him, of course, and the little teleport, or little hiding in the background BS. Ah, crap. He's gonna jump around doing this. And sometimes he might trick you up, surprisingly, but usually he's gonna try to hang up on the ceiling, and that pretty much makes him a easy target for more boomerangs, and he's gonna keep doing that over and over again, you hope. Otherwise, you're gonna fail your speedrun miserably. Okay, I just failed my speedrun with miserably. Okay, so I'm gonna, in anger, use this on him. That's gonna really mess him up. Good job, Mega Man. We just fucking own that bitch. Or bastard. Or chameleon. Or whatever the fuck is gonna call him. He's dead to me. Okay, so let's get the hell out of here. Use this nice fucking attack. Holy shit, that did lost. Good job, Big Man. Good job, Big Man. Okay, so next guy is Park Man Fail. His weakness, obviously, is more debil debilitating than uh, Boomerang Cutter on Sting Chameleon. And at least he can Sting Chameleon can do shit afterwards. Too bad I didn't have that fucking weakness at that point. Okay, so he can't take that too well. Can't take that. Can't take that. Definitely can't take that. Can't take that either. He certainly is not mean to his own weapon. And he's not mean to that either. So yeah, he's basically... He's basically, uh... Pretty... Much like everybody else at the moment. Except this. This is just the biggest... That's all... I mean, how can you have trouble with that? He basically... You just have to wait and shoot, wait and shoot, wait and shoot dead. Yep, that's pretty sad. And I think everyone else can put up a fight at least, except maybe Chill Penguin, but he can't put up a fight even without his weakness. Wait, did I say that right? Whoa, whatever. These fish are fucking annoying though. Get the hell away, you bastards. Leave me in fucking peace, you bastard. What the fuck, man? Seriously. Okay, so next guy is Mr. Launch Octopus, and he has an interesting situation with him. He's not like all the others where he takes just one damage. Basically, you can see that his tentacles are pretty loose, I guess you could say. Of course, he's really weak to that. Don't even bar using that, because of obvious reasons. Like, why would you want to use Fire Wave here? Honestly, it's, it's a horrible idea. Okay, now what you want to use do here is basically use that over and over again. And now you have an easy target. Basically, the only thing you have to worry about is jumping. And then you can do this the whole fucking battle. And basically, you'll be done. But for speedrunners, I highly suggest not doing that because you'll pretty much waste fucking time. Lots of fucking time. See? Okay, you can stop blocking all my rolling shields with your damn missiles. So yeah, if you're speedrunning, don't bar with that strategy, because 
apparently it doesn't speed, but it makes the fight ridiculous. Why rapidly? Okay, so equip the cheapest weapon in the game. You demonstrate Mega Man, sweet. Get the fuck through here. Too bad the that the weapon power up's pretty worthless when it gets getting it for what you want, but oh well. And then we got this one more guy to worry about, but we're out of time, unfortunately. So next time we're gonna take on Flame Mammoth and his fat ass, and then we're gonna take on the boss of this stage. So thanks for watching, have a great day guys, and adios.